Welcome to TradingPennies.com Chart of the Week, where every week we will examine the trading strategy behind one of our explosive daily stocks picks. All of our strategies are covered in detail in our manual, Learn How Professionals Trade the Penny Stock Market, available on our site at Trading-Pennies.com. This week's chart is Santa Fe Gold Corporation, ticker symbol SFEG, a rapidly growing mining and exploration company focused on acquiring and mining gold and silver properties within the basic materials sector. What caught our attention in this stock was the initial pullback from a volume breakout of a well-formed coupled handle pattern as seen on the daily chart. As noted in our manual, cup and handle patterns are some of the most profitable and predictable patterns to trade, and seeing the opportunity of an initial pullback from a breakout from a well-formed cup and handle pattern, Santa Fe Cor Gold Corp placed it on our watch list of hot stocks. In review, a cup and handle pattern is formed from a prior breakout. The high of the breakout forms the left side rim of the cup. As the stock pulls back, it forms the left side of the cup. During this period, it is likely that there will be increased volatility, in other words, a greater range among the highs and the lows, and volume in whatever time frame you trade. As volatility decreases, the stock begins to form a base. It is important that the lows of the base do not exceed 50% of the prior breakout range from the low to the high that form the left side rim of the cup. A break of this increases the likelihood of failure of the pattern. The right side of the cup is formed by a gradual increase in price that does so on lower volatility and greater volume on days that close higher as this represents accumulation. Another signal of strength seen on the daily chart was that the consolidation that formed the base of the cup did so along the underlying support of the 20 period moving average. This is important as the majority of traders view the 8 and 20 period moving averages on the daily chart the most significant. The rim of the right side of the cup is formed slightly below, at, or slightly above the high that formed the left side. From here we look for the formation of a handle. A proper handle is formed when the stock pulls back on lighter volume and decreasing volatility, and the low of the handle does not exceed 50% retracement of the low of the cup's base to the handle's high. With this in mind, the typical buy-in point will be a break of the handle high on accompanying significant volume during the period of the day which is not subject to head fakes. If you have any questions about head fakes, please refer to our manual. Thus, the buy-in point on Santa Fe Gold Corp would have been a volume break of 1.30 price level, which it clearly demonstrated during last Tuesday's trading. We at TradingPennies.com took our initial position prior to this classic buy-in point because of what we saw on the intraday chart. What we saw was Santa Fe Gold Corp consolidating in the upper half of a larger consolidation pattern and above the support of the ascending intraday 200 period moving average, which is one of our most trusted signals. During morning trade on Thursday, March 26, we saw volume come to the buy side with an accompanying breakout and where we took our initial position. Taking this early position gave us the ability to minimize our risk should the cup and handle pattern forming on the daily chart break down, and we placed our stop loss just beneath the small consolidation at 1.06 price level. As noted previously, Santa Fe Gold Corp broke out of a volume above the cup and handle high last Tuesday and is now consolidating within the upper half of the breakout candle range bar and above the underlying support of both the 8 and 20 period moving average, which we consider a very healthy sign for continued advance. We still maintain our initial stop loss at the 1.06 price level and are looking for signs to add to our position it is well known that the first pullback from a prior breakout has the greatest potential for continuation and thus offers one of the most consistently profitable trades, so we always look for this type of pattern formation occurring in conjunction with the support of the underlying ascending 8 period or 20 period moving average only strengthens the probability of continuation. As always, once taking any position, we quickly turn to exit strategies and perform multiple time frame analysis looking for potential resistance levels as this is always a concern of a trader when determining the risk reward potential for any trade entered. On the daily chart we saw the price pattern projection target at the 1.060 price level. As noted in our manual, the time frame in which a pattern develops is important to traders in that it often predicts a future price target of the stock and the time period in which it will take to reach this price target. With regards to Santa Fe Gold Corp, we subtracted the high and low of the previous breakout that formed the left side of the cup. 1.25 and 0.55 price levels respectively, and noted an advance of 0 0.070 cents or 70 cents. We then add this to the low of the cup at 0.90 to get a pattern projection target at 
On the monthly chart, we see potential resistance levels at the 2.00 price level, which would represent the upper boundary of a long-term up channel. We also see a pattern projection target at the 1.85 price level, should the support of the 1.30 price level hold. Thus, on the monthly period chart, we see the 1.85 to the 2.00 price level as potential resistance points. On the weekly chart, using pattern projection targets, we see potential resistance levels at the 1.40 and 2.00 price levels. We also see the 1.40, 1.60, and the 2.30 price levels as potential resistance points as each re respectively represents the upper boundary of a 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree up channel. Thus, with regards to convergence of patterns on the weekly chart, we see the 1.40, 1.60 and 2.00 price levels as near-term key pivot points and at which we will closely watch price volume action which will dictate our course of action at that time. On the intraday chart using pattern projection we see the 1.35 and 1.60 price level as near-term target pivot points as well as the 1.55 and 1.60 price levels based on a well-formed 30 degree up channel. Thus, on an intraday basis, we see the 1.60 level as a point of pattern convergence and as such a key pivot point to watch price volume action, should it be reached. Taking multiple time frame analysis into consideration, we see the 1.40, 1.60, and the 2.00 price levels as representing significant key pivot point targets in near-term trading. As noted in our manual, Professional traders look for convergence points amongst various chart patterns, not in single time frames, but simultaneously in multiple time frames. In other words, professionals think three-dimensionally, anticipating truly significant key pivot points in which to both enter and exit positions. It is at these key pivot points where the greatest volume of traders waiting to take action will be greatest, and points where market psychology is more apt to suddenly shift, and as such, the trend in one's position. Currently we have our stop loss on our initial position at the 1.06 price level and we look to add to this position at, that the 1.35 price level is broken on volume. Until next week, from TradingPennies.com, this is Thomas McClellan, where our goal is to help you learn to become more successful trading the penny stock market.